and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm doing another lineup update. So, I did one of these like a week and a half ago, but I picked up like four or five cards since then. I picked up some more coaching stuff, some more chem stuff. I, did, I invested a lot in the team, so my overall is almost 91, actually. I don't want to show you guys the things. I don't want to give away some of the players. I'm going to go one by one in the binder. Like, I like to go one by one because this is pretty much, this video isn't just a lineup update. It's very informational for you guys. So pretty much we go one by one at each position, and I give you my in-depth analysis on what I want from each position this year and what I think the meta is and what you should want to have there. Like some people might want, let's say like, let's just say for instance, it's a speed back year and like, I'll go over why I want to back with these certain stats. So just, just to give you an example. I'm not saying that is the truth, but I'll go over everything for you guys. And also I need your help with this too. I'm always changing my team, but what better than you guys, all of you guys to give me advice. So I'm going to go one by one on each position, tell you guys what I picked up, where I want to change and give me some advice on what you guys recommend for that. And uh, I'm going to go one by one through the binder as per usual. But guys... I did spend a lot of coins, but I'm going to get that coin count back up so I can go all in for the Thanksgiving promo. But the lineup's looking pretty nice. We're almost a 91. We're like, I think we have a 91 defense. We have a 90 offense. It's pretty much my quarterback and my wide receivers. I literally haven't upgraded them this year. Uh, I'm still, I still have really haven't bought any new players there besides Lamar. But before we get into this video, boys, quick little announcement. We did hit 11K. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all the support. Appreciate it every single day. And if you're new to the channel right now, come join the family, boys. We're going for 12K next. And then once we're done with 12K, we got to move on to 20K. That's the next big milestone. Comment down below, concurrently throughout the video, what you think I should be upgrading, what you guys need help with. Comment down below. I'll try to get to all the comments. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. All the loyal fans, all supporters watching this video, best way to show support is always to like the video. Let's give this video a big thumbs up. Give this video to 250 likes, boys. And now, let's head on over to the lineup and show you guys the team. All right, so at quarterback, we now have Peyton Manning, Michael Vick, and Lamar Jackson. So, the way I'm going about this, Peyton Manning's ass is being sold. I haven't even used him yet. I don't really intend to. He looks like any other thrown quarterback without speed. Um, I got Michael Vick, and I got Lamar Jackson. Now, the reason I have Shaker, I put Shaker on my team, by the way, which is why Michael Vick has it. Even if Michael Vick doesn't ever play for me, he'll always be a backup, at least with Shaker. Now, the issue here is, right, Series 3 comes this Friday, which means more reduxes will come into packs, which means prices just keep lowering on players. I'm waiting for Michael Vick to get really cheap now. Will I get Michael Vick? I don't know. I mean, he doesn't look much better than Lamar Jackson with his full card. I might inevitably just wait for the next great mobile quarterback or maybe like a Patrick Mahomes with... I want like an Andrew Luck, right? Like an 80-something speed with really good passing. That's kind of what I'm waiting for right now. But for the time being, I'll rock with them. But these are not the long-term quarterbacks. Unless I can power up Lamar Jackson soon and I can really make him more awesome, I really will probably end up making the switch at some point at quarterback. Now, let's go over to halfback. Give me guys some recommendations for your rock with that quarterback. At halfback, we got Saquon and Marcus Allen and a ton of Bo Jackson, as you guys like to point out to me all the time. Um, so Saquon Barkley, guys, there is no switching up this. The only way I change, the only way Saquon gets benched, right? He'll be on my team all year, at least as a backup. The only way he gets benched is if Barry Sanders comes out. Or maybe the Danny Tomlinson went like on bar. That's about it. Those are the only things I can really change my mind right about now. He's got crazy stats, and they get even better with all the cams I have on him. Just look at it. No need to switch. Marcus Allen, he's just like, he's the GOAT. I'll never forget the days of him, 88 speed, evasive, just murking the entire weekend league. I'll never forget how OP he was. I can't, I feel like I have to, like, I can't just drop him off the team. At fullback, we still got Corey Schlesinger. Um, I don't mind him. He's still really good. Really good blocking stats, as you guys can see. I mean, I kind of just rock with him for blocking. I don't really use him for anything else, so I haven't really felt the need to switch. He's also free. At uh, wide receiver, we have Torrey Holt, Randy Moss, Hopkins, and Juju Smith, and Tyreek Kill. As you guys can see, we've made no changes. He's free. He's a power-up card. He's free. He's free. I pulled one of a pack. I literally have not bought one single wide receiver. I'm not even joking. I don't think I bought one wide receiver off the entire auction block this year. Not one. Like, genuinely, I don't think I bought a single, like, 90 above wide receiver, like, to use. I, I just don't think I have. So, hopefully, I'm in the near future, I'm hoping for some overpowered, dominant wide receiver card that I can finally drop on the team. At tight end, guys, we're still rocking George Kittle. Um... The only way I switch this up is if we get some like overpower Tony Gonzalez or Shannon Sharp. But I just want I just want the LTD Kittle. I love this card. I'm gonna rock with this. I have no problem with this Kittle all year. So he's there to stay. Left tackle, we got Munoz. We finally picked up Munoz. That's a new pickup, I think. I don't know if he was in the last lineup update. He has awesome stats, some thresholds there. Locks down the left side of the field. Or the left side of the line, I should say. Really awesome left tackle. I'm not gonna spend too much time on the line, obviously. Bruce Matthews, pretty awesome. I am looking to pick up that new card, which was the Gene Upshaw, but I gotta wait for his price to come down. At center, we have a new pickup, 
which I don't think you guys saw. We have Travis Frederick, 93 overall, guys. This card is freaking awesome. I'm not kidding. I used to have Kelsey. That Kelsey would get like decent push. I'm not kidding. Frederick takes the defensive tackle at the end and he turns them. Inside zone has been beautiful with him. Never been better. Look at those run blocking. 95, 91, 96. That's all I got to say. This card is a monster. An absolute monster. Awesome card. Now, I don't know if Shaker hurting his strength by one is a big deal. I should probably look into that. I didn't realize I did that. Now, right guard. We got David DeCastro still. Obviously, beastly right guard. I've talked about him enough, though. I'm not going to go all in depth on him. Let's see. Let's see. Right tackle. Lane Johnson. I do need a new right tackle. That is a must. I need a new right tackle. I just haven't found the right one yet to get. But when I do find the right one, I will be picking him up. At left end, we got Cameron Jordan, Demarcus Lawrence. They're both free. That's pretty much why I have both of them. Uh, D-Law, I play at defensive tackle. And Cameron Jordan is an awesome left end. His stats are really underrated. He's not showing up with his power up and chem like stuff right now. But with everything, he does have amazing, amazing stats. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Defensive tackle. Right now, I should say. We got Aaron Donald and Dama Kung Su and Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa is getting the limited time team of the week, so he will be getting a upgrade today, although his stats are kind of ass, so I'll probably choose him as a backup. Aaron Donald is what we're rocking with, and Dama Kung Su, I use him as a backup. I, I use him as a defensive tackle, actually, because if you compare the two, he's good and all, but the speed's too slow, the excel's too slow, and the pass rushing's not that great, so I'd rather have him at defensive tackle. That's where I'm rocking with him right now. I don't know if I'll end up keeping him there. I do love my Aaron Donald, though. Awesome, awesome stats. Really want that limited time card. I'll probably end up using... I mean, I'll probably end up using my power pass for one of the month 10 players in regards to that. So, I don't really think I'll be using it on Donald, although I wish I could. Defensive tackle, like I said, we don't even start those guys there. We do just use our ends there. Outside linebacker, we got Von Miller, 91 still. I want to upgrade this at some point. Trust me, guys. I, Von Miller does not pass rush for me. He is always in at zone, and it's really annoying. And I need a new I need a new guy there, but there's not really that many good zone linebackers to put there just yet. Although, I've heard Ryan Chase here there is really good. At middle linebacker, we got Ray Lewis, Ryan Shazier, and Devin Bush. Now, Ray Lewis is one of our new pickups. Ray Lewis, I'm a big-time, all-time Ray Lewis fan. I, I love Ray Lewis. I actually used to have his jersey hanging up right behind there, if you guys haven't heard that already in videos. It is in my closet right now. It's a little big. I ordered it from one of those sketchy websites. It became really, really big. But for the most part, awesome card, top-end speed, top-end run stuffer, top-end sh everything, sheds off blocks. I love this card right here. Happy to have him. And then obviously Shazier, you guys should already know I'm not going to spend too much time on Shazier. Right outside linebacker, we still got Lawrence Taylor. He's staying there all year, so don't even comment about him. The only thing I'm going to do with Lawrence Taylor is upgrade him. I'm hoping for a Thanksgiving cornucopia, Lawrence Taylor. Just not LTD, please, man. Please, not LTD, so I can afford it. I'm hoping it's not LTD. I, I assume that him and Barry Sanders, they always get Thanksgiving cards. They always get cards around this time of the year. So I'm hoping that's what happens, and then I can rock with Lawrence Taylor the rest of the year. Guys, this next Lawrence Taylor card, going to go from insane to demigod look at me look at it the next lawrence taylor car will have above 90 excel will have close to 90 speed above 90 tackle above 90 play rec close to 90 strength well above 90 power move and probably 90 block shed and well above 90 finesse move next card's gonna be a god with chems and everything it's gonna be unreal i, mean, I don't even want to see well i don't want to see other people with lawrence taylor i'll be scared cornerbacks we actually have quite a few we have denzel ward jalen ramsey stefan gilmore Deion sanders and byron jones so what's the game plan here i think gilmore's gotten the boot He's, I love Gilmore. I love this Gilmore so much, but he's gotten really slow and people are just progressively a lot faster. He has like an 89 speed. You think he has a 94 and he has a 91. So like, it doesn't really make sense for me to do that. Now, what's the game plan here? The game plan here is start Ward, obviously. This is one of our new pickups. 93 speed, 94 excel, 94 agility, 90 jumping, 89 play rec, 95 man, 87 zone, and 93 press. This card is a monster. 87 zone coverage is unreal. If I put John Madden everything on him, I could probably get him to like an 89 zone, which would suck. I would want to get that one plus, but I don't really know how to get that. But as a whole, he's a monster. Jalen Rams is obviously a monster. And then we got Deion Sanders at the third spot. Now, the game plan here is to get my power pass and either use it on... Deion Sanders or Randy Moss. I don't know yet. Uh, I'm thinking I'm leaning towards Deion Sanders right now, although I really want Randy Moss. But once I get that, that'll be the lockdown corners for the year. I'm probably going to rock with, for the majority of the year, probably going to rock with Deion Sanders and Ramsey. The only one who might switch at some point is Ward if they don't give him another card for a while. But with his speed, he could stay there for quite a while, so I'm really not concerned about him. Next, we got the free safety spot. We got Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins, guys, best purchase I've ever made. I'm not even kidding. 200K, 185K, whatever he was. Super, super cheap when I got him. For these stats, He's got top end speed at 88, 87 excel, 87 tackle, 92 play rate, 89 pursuit, 92 zone, and 92 hit power. He's lovely. At free safety, all you need, a guy who can play in the zone, tall, make some plays, and lay the boom. He does it all. 
you can't you can't go wrong with Brian Dawkins, guys. One of the better purchases I think I've made all year. Strong safety, obviously we got Pat Tillman. Guys, there's nothing. He has almost a 99 play rec, 97 tackle, 88 acceleration, 95 pursuit, 93 hit power, 99, 90 zone. Him and er, him and Brian Dawkins lock up their spots on the field. I'm telling you. Awesome deal. The only thing that will make me get rid of Brian Dawkins would be probably Sean Taylor and for Pat Tillman, nothing. I, I can't. How would you ever get rid of Pat Tillman? He'll probably end up, he'll die on this team. He'll never leave. He'll be, he'll be on this team to the day Madden dies. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I will show you guys my kicker because it's all those, all those souls that seem to really care about the kicker spot that really get mad when I don't show it. I do have Graham Gunnell and I do have Trey Way, a punter. Now, for all you guys who, I finally had one guy say, did he just call him Treyway? Yeah, I've been calling him Treyway since probably like Madden 19, and no one has said one word about it. I'm sure this one guy was pretty funny. I was actually laughing hard when the guy commented it. But that is about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification, come join the family, guys. Nothing else to say. We're on, we're gonna go. For, we're going for 12k next, boys. So run it up. Comment down below any recommendations you guys have for each position on what you guys want to go, what route you're going, what you think, and pretty much. That's it. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 200 likes. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, you know what to do. All the OG fans and supporters, I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.